Well, moving on. Are you a friend of the Friends of the Thompson Falls Public Library? Well, I guess so. I mean, I really like them. Are you one of the many artists, quilters, and crafters here in Sanders County? Well, I like to finger paint my spare time. Well, then maybe you can help. The Friends of the Thompson Falls Public Library are looking for donations for their 10th annual silent auction. Well, I'd better get to work so I can donate. I, I'll, I'll be right back. No, we'll, we'll have a seat, Justin. You still have uh, quite a while. Oh, well, I do? Yes, you, you do. That's why I'm bringing this up so early, so all the donors out there have time to prepare. Well, that's a breath of fresh air, so I'll prepare, but for when and where? Uh, a little after the fair. Bring from your lair the arts you've created with care to donate, if you dare, to the Friends of the Public Library Silent Auction. That last part didn't rhyme. Well, what are you going to do? The Silent Auction is slated to take place November 23rd through December 4th. When your piece is ready for donation, you can contact Arlene at 827-7386 or shoot an email to Karen at harlantk at blackfoot.net. Well, that sounds very doable. I'll get right to work on my new masterpiece. Well, the Friends of the Public Library would like to thank you in advance. And we'd like to thank the Friends of the Library for doing such a great job ensuring our library can be top of the line all of the time. And speaking of time, it's almost time to get out the old fringed leather shirts and buckskin pants for the annual Thompson Falls event, David Thompson Days, a community rendezvous, to take place July 3rd. All right. I love David Thompson Days. Did you know that some people say I kind of look like David Thompson? You know, if I had a mullet and no beard. Yeah, yeah, you kind of do. Anyway, this year promises to be a busy event with the usual suspects from the David Thompson Brigade, the annual parade on Main Street, local organizations vending tasty treats, live music, speakers, and old-time demonstrators, and of course, the best company you could ask for. You guys. Me? Yeah, you too. Oh, sweet. You included me this time. Well, you know... I'm, I'm excited about all, the, all those things that you listed, but, you know, I really love a parade. That so. you do. If you're planning on registering for the parade, organizers are encouraging that you get in early. Although the deadline for registration is July 1st, your early registration will allow for better planning and a smoother sailing parade. To enter the parade, contact Joanne Burke at First Security Bank. If you'd like to volunteer to help, contact Jennifer Fielder at 406-210-5944 or email her at joefielder at blackfoot.net. And this just in. This one? <laughs> no. There will soon be lions, elephants, and clowns on the loose again in Thompson Falls. What are you talking about? Well, the Culpepper and Merriweather Circus is once again coming to Thompson Falls. Oh my gosh. I love the circus. When will it be here? Is it going to be soon? Is it going to be soon? Huh? Huh? Can we go? Can we go? Well, Can we go? unfortunately, you got a little time to wait. Oh. Because performances will not be going on until Friday, July 9th at 5 and 7.30 p.m. Well, I guess I can wait. Anyway, it gives me time to get some tickets. Yes. Yes, it does. And tickets are available at the Thompson Falls Chamber of Commerce office at 1213 Main Street or at First Security Bank in Thompson Falls. The circus is sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce, who is also accepting donations for tickets for people who cannot afford them. For more information or to donate, call the Chamber at 827-4930. For more information about the Culpepper and Merriweather Circus, you can go to their website at cmcircus.com. Well, I think I'll jump on that website just so I can maybe bed my appetite before the circus actually gets here. Well, what if it only whets your appetite? That's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that about does it for your only local televised source for what is now a notorious noteworthy narrative on not necessarily new newsworthy news. The broken news. Thanks for watching. And stay classy, Sanders County.